So you trimmed your beard. You screwed up. You know what you did was wrong. The question is, what are you going to do to make it right? Hi, I'm Jack Malaco. Let's have a little chat about ruining your beard. Jokes aside, we get this question all the time. People will have their beard trimmed either by themselves or when they go to the barber shop and they'll send in pictures and say, my beard's been ruined. Guys, here's the deal. Your beard is not always ruined every time you get a trim or any time you try something different. The key here is working with what you've got. And if you've taken it into a style that really doesn't suit you, it's not the end of the world. You don't have to completely start over. So that's really what it comes down to. What we'll typically see is one of two things. First one is a guy will have taken his neckline up too high and he thinks he needs to start over or he's always had his neckline up too high and he thinks he has to start over because he wants to get it lower because realistically a neckline should be partly down your neck. So here's the deal. If your neckline is too high right now and you want it to go lower or you've shaved it up too high and you want to get it back to where it was, you do not have to completely shave off your beard. What you can do in the meantime is get your beard blended. Now this can be tricky if you've got a pretty thick beard. If you've been growing your beard for a significant amount of time, it may not be the first solution you wanna to jump to, but trust me, it's a lot easier to get your beard blended and have it slowly transition into getting lighter and lighter as it gets towards the neckline that you're trying to regrow than trying to completely go back and grow everything from a complete shave. The second thing we'll encounter a lot is guys who think they've messed up their cheek lines, either lowering it or growing it up too high or blending it too far down. What happens there is people will think they've completely butchered their beard and they need to start over again. Just like with the neckline situation though, guys, you do not need to start over. What you can do, and this is actually the easier of the two, is again, go for that blend. Go into a barber shop, tell them what happened, tell them what's going on, or, if you're comfortable enough, try doing this at home. Take a large guard, get it down to the bottom, then slowly work your way up with guards so that your beard becomes blended and it gets thinner as you get towards the top. That way it won't look so dramatic when you see the separation between the new part of the growth and the part of the beard that you already have. Now those aren't the only two things that happen to guys. I mean, there are certain situations where people think they've completely ruined their beard. I've heard horror stories from barber shops where guys will go in, ask for a beard trim, and get completely different results than what they asked for. Now, of course, this all goes back to communicating with your barber. You really want to be clear with what you want to get, and don't be afraid to ask questions as the situation is progressing, okay? But if you do find yourself in a situation where your beard has been butchered, don't worry. Again, you do not have to start over. What I encourage you to do is to find a style that works with what you have. So for example, say you go into the barber shop and you ask for something and your cheek line is just annihilated. Or maybe you get a little bit too ambitious with a clipper. Cheeks are gone, you've only got the circle beard left. Don't worry, you've still got the circle beard. You can still rock the mustache and goatee combo. Or even go for something called the scruffy goat where you keep the circle beard and slowly grow it back. You don't need to start over because there are styles that work with every type of beard growth right now. We are not just limited to the full natural beard or the beard that everyone pictures in their mind when they say the word beard. Beards are lots of different things. You can even take this a step further. Trim your mustache too well. Hey, rock the goatee for a little bit and grow the mustache back. Even go for a whaler if you've got the full beard going on. There are styles upon styles that you can choose from as you regrow and as you get your beard back to the place that you want it to be. But in the meantime, look at this as an opportunity to try something new. Maybe you've never tried a more dramatic style or a showman style or something that you've heard us talk about on this channel and have always sort of been itching to try it yourself but you never wanted to completely go for it. Hey. This is your time to shine. So embrace the opportunity and try something new, huh? So the next time some turkey comes up to you or you get those negative thoughts in your mind that convince you that you've ruined your beard, just remember, it's not the end of the world. You haven't completely ruined your beard and you don't need to start over from square one. Use your tools. Use the opportunities that have been presented to you. Try something new. Get adventurous. And remember guys, Keep on growing. Beard Brain is a premium men's grooming company with products not only for your beard, but also your hair and body. 
do yourself a favor and head over to beardbrand.com and take care of yourself. Or you can stick around and watch a few more of our awesome videos.